good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are watching this video from to our new subscribers karibuni sana to this family and if you are already part of this family let's continue to explore to learn and to grow together and today i want us to dive into something that is called temperament and personalities have you ever had someone asking you which personality are you which temperament are you are you an introvert? Are you an extrovert? You know, someone telling you, Manze, you are so energetic, you know, you are a risk taker. And you don't know these are personalities. These are things that Ziko, you know, we have them in us. And before we, we, we get deeper, I want us to go to, uh, we see the definition of a temperament and personality. Are these two the same? Do they have a difference? Do they link together? What is, when someone tells you, uh, what is your temperament or, or what type of a temperament are you? And someone tells you, which personality are you? Are these two things di different or are they the same? We'll dive in into a uh, definition of temperament. These are behaviors that are biolog biologically based. These are uh, behaviors nazo, like you inherit. They are there since birth. They, they have a genetic link. Temperaments, you you are born with them. You know these are things that you inherit from your parents, from yes, from your from your guardian or or whatever you not guardian from your parents, and they are inborn. Yes, they are inborn. Whereas uh, personalities, these are patterns or behaviors, feelings, thoughts, attitudes that influence how we interact with the world. Yes. And another thing about temperament, temperaments, they form the foundation of a personality. Like the first of all, to na temperament, and then now a personality comes on top of, of temperament. So when you, have a te when you have a personality, it's built from a foundation of, of a temperament temperament it has a source you know when someone tells you you are energetic you are a risk taker you are you are a go-getter that go-getter and risk taker it has a source of it it has a foundation which is now your temperament where right now that's where you will have to understand what which type of temperament are you in and why should you know your temperament why should you know how you act why should you know uh, how you behave how you react to certain things, how you carry yourself. You know, there are people who, who love to carry themselves in a diplomatic way. There are people like too, how do you, why, why do you carry yourself the way you carry yourself? Why do you talk the way you talk? You know, why do you, why do you take things the way you take? When someone tells you a joke or something of information, how do you digest that information? Are we together? So why do we why do we need to understand temperament and the personality? Number one is to help us to to have peace of who we are. Imagine if you know you are a person who uh, you are triggered and uh, you have anger issues, or you get bored, or you have moods. The moment you understand who you are, you'll have peace. By the way, you won't be every time una maybe una teta or you get pissed off, you know, for you to understand who you are, it will help you to have peace. The moment you have peace, you'll be ready or you have a space of working, of working out your weaknesses. Another thing is to embrace who you are. The way to say self-love. The moment you're saying self-love, it's not that you don't have weaknesses. It's not that you are not, um, you are a fully, you know, you are that complete person. No, the moment you know, I am a sanguine, I am a melancholy, all this temperament, they have weaknesses. The moment you understand your weakness, you are able to embrace it in the process of building yourself up or in the process of, um, trying to work your, your your weaknesses so it's good it helps you to have peace in the moment you're having peace you're embracing yourself you're embracing um your personality you're embracing your temperament and you you're understanding more and then you now you're going to dive in to to seek for solutions another thing is to maximize your potential yes the moment you know me, I'm a go-getter, you know, me, I'm a risk taker, me, I know I am a very organized person, I know I'm a very, I'm a, I have leadership skills in me, 
you're going to maximize that potential where else if we look at for for those two weaknesses you're going to work them out and that's why you understand there's someone you can give them a job man they they execute it very well why because there's something they do it with ease and then they will do it perfectly you understand they are trying to maximize their potential and also one thing with with temperament and um and uh, personalities they also go hand in hand with the careers that people by the way are diving into so don't ask yourself mona nimejipata kwa hii career i'm doing it well with ease you know it's all about the temperament and the and the personality and someone could ask what comes first is it the temperament or the personality of course as you have said temperaments they are inborn so first it's temperament and then the personality on top can you change your temperament or personality this is something that that um you may maybe think about the moment you want maybe to change you know like people let me give an example like sanguine people they are very vibrant man they are very energetic when they get into a room and they the room becomes lively and maybe you are that kind of a person you love to change unasema manze i want to be like a sanguine but remember all these temperaments they have their own pros and cons the way you want to be like a melancholy remember they have their own disadvantage and advantage so for me i don't think maybe it's 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 i don't know if it's it's a uh, it can be possible you change your temperament because it's something that is inborn and it's genetic linked another thing can you can you change we already said that and uh, now which type which are these temperaments that people talk about there are four main types of temperament the four the main there are four we have the sanguine um we have the melancholy sanguine the energetic people you know the melancholy you know these people are very organized they label everything they are perfectionist man they eh my friend they don't want you to move one thing upeleke mahali let it be organized you know in the homes in the kitchen everything is labeled if it's a sugar sugar jar salt is evil those are melancholic we have the phlegmatic they are phleg- phlegmatic they are very calm people watakangi sorry nyingi we have the choleric people uh, most of the people say that most of the leaders come from choleric they are this uh they are go getters they have this uh leadership they yani wanajituma in terms of leadership and all that so where do you lie in our next video we are going to discuss the types now the characteristics of uh, of uh, melancholy sanguine phlegmatic and choleric their weaknesses their their strengths yeah and also someone can can ask now those are temperaments what about the the personalities we have uh, the maybe you are energetic you're a risk taker you are very organized you are very observant you know yes those are some of the personalities so in our next video we are going to discuss on the types of of uh, not the yeah the type the characteristics of these types of temperaments and personalities and also how can you uh, tap into for example i know like melancholy they have the advantage and disadvantage fine there are weaknesses how can you now move from those weaknesses and um and grow into something better like melancholic they are very perfectionist let me tell you oh yes they are very perfectionist perfectionist also they have their own disadvantage how can you move from this and you work on something better yes so thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for joining me and uh, if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel kindly subscribe that and hit that notification bell that be, that is below there if you have any question let me know even before start uh, discussing which type personality are you uh, which type of temperament are you and let me know if you have any question just write it below till the next time adios